Welcome back to the final race of the American Meat Olympics, where reigning heavyweight champion the beef industry hopes to stay on top in this final 50-year dash. Looking down the starting line, beef farmers clock in at a whopping 61 pounds eaten per American per year. Piggy meat industry, 33 pounds. Egg industry, 25. But all eyes are on chicken farmers. Could they still have a shot at a late-stage comeback? And they're off. The athletes approach the 1975 mark and it looks like factory farms are breeding fatter, cheaper chickens and chickens push past their own eggs for the first time in human history. Oh, and as they start into the 1980s, McDonald's seems to be planning something new. Oh, it's called the McNugget and it looks like it's just ground up chicken bodies covered in batter, but Americans seem to love it. Oh, but the piggy meat industry is still edging out chicken meat. Oh, but now monopolistic chicken corporations are lowering chicken meat prices. And oh, would you look at that? Chicken flesh beats piggy flesh. Oh, but the piggy meat industry pulls back ahead. And what's this? Chicken farmers are developing better vaccines. And they pull ahead yet again, with beef farmers still confidently in the lead as we approach the 1995 mark. But here comes Chick-fil-A's Eat More Chicken campaign. And the chicken industry picks up more speed. Oh, but beef fires back with its own slogan. Beef. beef. It's, it's what's, what's for, dinner. for dinner. Now it looks like Chick-fil-A is targeting parents with the promise of growing kids inside and out. Oh, but they're too successful. Childhood obesity is skyrocketing across the U.S. Thanks in large part to chicken-filled fast food. Could this be the end of Chicken's championship hopes? No! It's a PR miracle! Chicken is rebranding as a healthy, lean meat alternative to beef. And can we believe our eyes? Because for the first time, bird flesh passes cattle flesh. Oh, but beef farmers are still sprinting close behind. And it looks like the former heavyweight champion is hiring a voice actor with a deeper and raspier voice to try to... But make sure beef will always be what's for dinner. Ah, uh, but chicken farmers, they're exploiting their animals for all their worth. They're cramming chickens into smaller and more toxic cages with the help of more and more vaccines. They're stuffing them with more and more government-subsidized soy and corn. Beef is looking desperate. Can beef producers also grow cattle to five times their natural weight using only tiny cages? No, beef farmers cannot. This is a golden opportunity for chicken factory farms. Cheaper meat, smaller cages, worse conditions, freakier genetics, and chicken flesh is the uncontested, the indisputed American champion!